Let me level up and see what I want to get. Alright, so Commando will do. Automatic weapons now do 80% more damage. And I don't actually have any automatic weapons on me at the moment. This giant beast is a heavy weapon. Uh, so whilst I don't have any on me at the moment, I'll be getting one soon. And yeah, I, I hacked that guy to come help me, but he's so slow, I just went straight ahead of him. And yeah, lots of mounds of dirt and a mole rat body, just to confirm it. I'm thinking the little beasties are going to start popping up very soon. Well, maybe not. Oh, okay. Hello? They, they haven't escaped. They're just biding their time and trying to get into a different position to attack us. Okay, so more up above. Good job, Strong. Okay, and you. What's that? that was the sound of a mole rat being torn in half. I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Okay, so... I think I know... what this secret section of the vault is for, and why they were experimenting on mole rats and doing all sorts to them. The other half of the vault, which is being observed here, they were going to be subjects for testing as well. So, observation terminal, hydroponics. The crop rotation implemented by the hydroponics manager has proven successful for supplying the vault with adequate food. We have not had to intervene, which has eliminated the risk that the vault inhabitants would discover the secret part of the vault. So far, they do not appear to suspect the true nature of their vault. The greenhouse would be a perfect place to introduce Class C4 and D1 viruses into the population, as well as potential cures should a disease get too virulent. I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling. Oh damn. So yeah, just like every other vault in Fallout, the inhabitants are unknowing unwilling test subjects for whatever Vault Tech has in plan for them. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> Idiot. So yeah, we get to listen in on the other side of the vault. And an observation chamber to view them, but the shutters are down at the moment. So, depot observation station. The vault inhabitants have unexpectedly repurposed this room to be a kind of store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation port to record interactions between many of the vault citizens. This shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne class B2 viruses. It will also be valuable for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location along with the commissary. The primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that severely ill patients will all be taken there. And yeah, so actually, um, whatever, oh, where's that mole rat? He, he just disappeared, just went underground. Uh, this side of the vault going to hell is a good thing for that side. Sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Who no there? This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, of course. How is Austin doing? Not good. He infected. 
mission has progressed quite rapidly. It was not a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. Don't worry, I will get a cure. And yes, yeah, so luckily for the other inhabitants on that side, uh, everyone here was killed off. Because all of the experiments that Vault Tech usually does to its inhabitants all go wrong. So they would have all been killed by viruses, another vault where they were experimenting on radiation, it got way out of hand and you can't even enter the vault without being killed immediately, the radiation is so strong. Just, it always goes wrong. But because they died on this side, the inhabitants are all fine, they got to live normally and yeah, that's a result of not have, being tampered with by crazy vault tech experiments. So, Overseer Observation Station. Although the chief scientist argued against an observation port in the Overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We are able to observe the political shifts in government since the vault door was locked. When we do introduce viruses to the population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reaction and courses of action. And I also wonder, when the hell did things go to hell on this side? Gonna be a good fight. <laughs> okay, are they above? Not certain. Probably past this door, maybe. Damn clever, genetically enhanced mole rats. Able to plan their attack. Disappear. Ooh. Yeah, there is a guardian. I thought I heard one earlier. Where the hell is it, though? And is it friendly? Or will it just attack mole rats? And this looks like uh, all the cells that contained mole rats, and they busted the hell out, man. Oh, God. Well, they are pretty tough, so I can understand how they bust their way out. Nope, they're just popping in and out all over the place. I'm losing them, then finding them, then they're disappearing again. Well, hopefully that's the lot of them. And Strong crushed the last one beneath his missile hammer. Okay, can't unlock that. Just yet, anyhow. Ah, in there I go. So, Vault 81 tech password. And let's see what's on the research terminal. Okay, so all of these just tell of a bunch of experiments, but it doesn't really tell anything too interesting, and it also doesn't explain what the hell happened here. I mean... Obviously something must have happened. The mole rats, being super smart, managed to figure out how to escape. Who knows? Maybe they just got too strong that the cell doors couldn't contain them any longer. Get my sword out. Make sure I have the sword equipped. Oh. Hello. Oh, inaccessible. Um, can I talk to you? Yes. And can you open the door up for me, please? Oh, another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Although the name has popped up several times, let's ask it. Who are you? Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IT. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they called me this when they were alive. I repeat, 
Are you Vault Tech Security? I will say yes, so you trust me immediately. But first, what do you know about this disease? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Vault citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others, and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault tech security? I most certainly am. Yes. Y yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Okay, so I'm thinking as soon as I tell her she is released, then she can open the door herself. Uh, she's got some programs in place to stop her from just leaving any time she wants. I'll, I'll just confirm it though, why can't you release yourself? Why can't you just leave? I require verbal or written authorization. Actually, any vault -Tec employee, even you, could authorize me. You must be vault -Tec, or you couldn't possibly be here. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Well, thank you very much. And now I can also get access to the Since cures you you've made. Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Well, thank you very much. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Um, well, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Okay. Very nice, friendly bot, and I'll be taking this medicine bobblehead. Bingo. The smart knows a bandage only hides his wounds. Stimpaks permanently heal 10% more damage. Very nice. And let's see if Curie has been leaving any messages on this. Vault 81 mission statement. We are entrusting you with a mission that is critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out disease as we know it in the human race. Your partition of the vault has been equipped with state-of-the-art medical research equipment, including the new Contagious Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, aka Curie. There is a century's worth of biological and chemical supplies. There are the genetically adapted mole rats, and most important, a vault full of test subjects. As with all great progress, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You will be infecting the people of the vault with diseases in an attempt to have them develop antibodies. Some may not survive, but you must ensure that a breeding population is always maintained. It will take many generations, but with a proper procedure you should be able to develop a disease-resistant group of humans. Your work will be the work of generations. Each generation of scientists must select a chief scientist. Curie will make sure that each reads this mission statement to keep the vault focused over the centuries. We wish you the best of luck. Yeah, well, seems like almost as soon as the mission was underway, everyone died. And you have anything else to say, Curie? Yes. I wonder how the Ebola, Hepatitis and Influenza have mutated over the years. What a lovely conversation. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's go to saving the boy that needs this cure. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this is going to lead out to the normal non-secretive vault and that it's going to be the only door I couldn't access before. Yeah, right at the beginning where I entered, this was the only door I couldn't access. Alright. Let's go save the day. What's up, Doc? I've got that cure for you. Cure? You found it? Here, take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't... There won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. Yeah, no wasting time asking questions or anything. Just give the boy the cure. It shouldn't be long. Come on. Where, where am I? You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I, go I hope you enjoy your accommodations. I wanted to say starving. thank you again for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers Vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Man, people love shoving other people out of the way. And yeah, you are lucky that vault tech failed. Whatever vault tech had planned, it failed and took their entire staff out with it. No arguments here. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the Commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. And once I am out of here, I will never visit this place again. Okay, now, let's talk to Curie. How are you? How are you doing? I find myself wanting to set out again and see the world. I am tempted to do this on my own. But there is so much danger. I hope we can renew our partnership. For science, of course. Of course. Come with me. I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. When Metal Man is all smashed, come find Strong. Don't worry, Monsieur Strong. I don't rush so easily. And there we have it. Uh, Strong, you can go to Sanctuary Hills. A moment, please. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. So now we have Curie as our companion for what I have planned. Uh, warn about going outside? No, no, no. What do you want to learn? What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system. And without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses, or bacteria, it is quite dull, medically speaking. The world out there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? Okay, Curie is all about disease. And yeah, just as she said, without the scientists ruining everything on this half of the vault, it is boring, it is perfect, it's fine. And what is wrong with my face? I just look so weird at the moment. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is 
a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude. But I must ask, please, monsieur, can you take me with you? Of course. I've already told Strong to leave anyway. Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. And all ended well. So apart from the secret vault causing some last few problems, this place really is perfect. Nothing else to do here. I'm going to go back into the secret half of the vault and pick up absolutely everything and sell it. And then we will be continuing onwards with a more specialised part of Fallout 4 that I've been looking forward to. So join me next time where I become the Silver Shroud. And as always, leave me any suggestions for games you'd like to see me play. Until then, bye for now.